Along a hot, dusty road, they march in memory of a man who died after working these fields. A farm worker died on our watch here. This has never happened like this before. Demonstrators say 28-year-old Onesto Ibarra died after collapsing on the job. They tell us a neighbor took him to a clinic after he started suffering headaches while picking berries for Sarbanan Farms in Sumas. Demonstrators say he complained to his supervisors about feeling sick in the high heat, but was told to return to work. This worker says it happens all the time. Every time you want to complain, says Carlos Crespo, they threaten to send you back to Mexico. The pickers are here legally on a guest worker program. Last week, about 70 of them say they were fired after protesting the lack of food, cold water, and sanitary working conditions. They've all ended up homeless, camping in a good Samaritan's backyard and living on donations from the community. Volunteer medics are treating the sick and injured. This man says he too got sick in the high heat, but was afraid to say anything for fear of losing his job. No, pues, imagínese. I was afraid the same thing that happened to Onesto would happen to me and my family would never see me again, he says. Demonstrators say they plan to continue their protests for Onesto Ibarra and the countless others working America's farmlands, hoping for a better way. In Sumas, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Now, the official cause of Onesto Ibarra's death has not been released. The State Department of Labor and Industry says it's looking into that situation at Sarbanan Farms. A spokesman for that farm refused to speak to us earlier today. A search of state records turned up only a few minor safety violations in recent years.